What's up friends? Today we are talking about Sony's big announcement. Hey guys, what's going on? You're watching Fancy Pants Media, the show that is all about taking your marketing and media to the next level. My name is Nick. Today we are fanboying over the Sony news. Sony has announced the A6400. Yes, an A6400. Now I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, why would they do that? They have an A6500 and the specs on this thing are crazy. The A6400 is really weird because it is announced a year after the A6500. Now it's not meant to replace the A6500, but it's meant to be an upgrade to the A6300, but it has some really unique features that are not in any Sony camera line right now, unless you're up there with the uh, A7R uh, 2s and 3s. Um, and let's talk about what makes this camera really interesting. The first is this articulating screen. It flips up 180 degrees, meaning this is perfect for those of you who want to vlog. Sony has always missed the mark when it comes to that market. Um, just that articulating screens that most of Sony Alpha cameras have are just not that great because they only move just a little bit. I mean, it's good if you like have a low shot, but other than that, you used to have to get external monitors and all of these other things in order to facilitate like a, you know, a front facing screen. But that's changed. The A6400 now flips up. The A6400 is going to have a 24 megapixel sensor that's nice and big. It's large. It's an APS-C camera. So you're not going to get that really, really super shallow depth of field that you get on the A7 uh, three or the, any of the A7 line, but you still are going to get a very, very great image from an APS-C sensor camera. Another great feature is the A6400's flip-up screen is actually a touch screen, so you can control the camera while it's pointing directly at you. This is great for those of you who are um, thinking about YouTube, for those of you who are vlogging, for those of you solo shooters. It's just a great way to capture that focus, make sure you're getting the image that you want without sacrificing, uh, you know, having to flip the camera around or uh, using a mirror like Casey Neistat or even having to buy an external monitor and flip it around. So. Kudos to you, Sony. That is genius. I'm glad it finally hit uh, because we need to be able to see ourselves when we film ourselves because we're on YouTube, right? Sony is also saying they have a real-time eye autofocus. This is supposed to be the fastest autofocus on the Sony market, meaning that it takes 0.02 seconds for it to actually track your eye. Um, that is fantastic because Sony is really great at the autofocus, uh, you know, features that it has on its camera. So hearing that the A6400 has great autofocus, has that 100 megabits per second when it comes to S-Log2 and S-Log3, and that flip up screen makes it kind of a no brainer and it's priced at $900. So when you look at that, that is almost the exact same pricing as a Canon 80D. Um, and so when you really look at it, it is like a go to. Sony is just crushing it in this market. They're really listening to their customers. This is great. I'm fanboying, boining. Fanboying. I'm, I'm fanboying right now. I am just absolutely in love with the specs on this camera. I can't wait to get one in my hand and go out and shoot so we can see some of the images. But if you're thinking about the A6400, would you drop me a comment below? Um, if you are uh, a Sony shooter, let me know uh, what style that you've been shooting on. Like if it's been the A5100, 6100, 6300, 6500, the A7S2, the A7 III, whatever you're shooting on, let me know in the comments below and link to some of that footage because I would love to check out the footage that you've been shooting with Sony. One final thing, this is the first Sony camera to have, it's like a hybrid log gamma. So it's kind of like a high dynamic range uh, with that log feature, which is really interesting. I'd love to see this picture profile. I think it's going to uh, be really innovative. Um, it also might be one of those things that it might be hard to grade. I remember trying to learn S-Log2 in my A7S Mark I, and it uh, it took a couple of times tries to get it right. There was still like this washed out uh, gray skin tones, uh, but once I really learned how to grade the S-Log footage, the footage just was fantastic. So guys, thanks for checking out this this video. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Let me know what camera you're looking forward to this year in 2019. And if you're going to pick up this camera, if you're like just completely sold, if you've already pre-ordered yours, let me know in the comments below. And until we chat again, I hope you tell the world a great story. Peace.
I think you can see my breath. I'm not sure. I can see my own breath. It's a little cold in my garage right now. It's a little freezing. My, my fingers are about to, to go numb.